Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of Zirconium Bridge Restoration, a case for our CEREC CAM software. This video demonstrates the workflow in the CEREC 4.6 software, from exporting data into the CEREC CAM 4.6 software and subsequent processing up to production. Our case covers a bridge restoration from 1.3 to 1.5. Our restoration has already been designed and we proceed to the manufacture phase. Here you see the bridge restoration already embedded in a MEDI S block. At this point there are two possible scenarios for the manufacturing process. In the first, your grinding and milling unit is connected and you click Start, which then controls your grinding and milling unit directly. An alternative, and economically more attractive option, is to export into the CEREC CAM software. In that case, you plan with a Maxi M block, nest the restoration at an optimal place in the block, and start the manufacturing process in the CEREC CAM software. This has the additional advantage that you can also nest other restorations you may have and mill them at the same time, or you can select the remainder of the block in the CEREC CAM software again at a later time to grind further restorations. To do this, we make sure that the option Export to CEREC CAM has been selected and click Start. We then receive a confirmation that the restoration was successfully exported. Should your restoration data not display in the CEREC CAM software, check the export or import path in both software versions. In order to verify the path, no restoration may be open. We open our system menu, click on Configuration, select the Settings option, and click on Patient Database. Here you can see to which drive and folder the CEREC software exports the restoration data. This path must be the same as the setting in the CEREC CAM software. Analogous to the CEREC software, we verify the path for the import of data in the CEREC CAM software. The path from which the CEREC CAM software takes the data is identical and we now proceed in the CEREC CAM software. The CEREC CAM software is similar to the CEREC software. There are three phases and at the lower edge there is a step menu. First we set up a new job. The most recently created job is always displayed at the top of the list. To further process this one, we activate it by placing a check mark. Now our bridge restoration is displayed in the preview, and we move on to the next step, select block. You can either enter a new blank or select a blank that has already been set up, as in our example. The recommended production type is milling, since this production process creates an ideal surface condition as well as increased margin stability. However, for demonstration purposes and for comparison, we will first select the blank with the production type Grinding. We move on to the next phase, Arrange, and the CAM software embeds the restoration inside the previously selected block. At the upper edge, both the necessary block length for this restoration and how much of this block will be left over for other restorations after production are displayed. We minimize the view so that the block preview with the stacked restoration inside is enlarged. At this point you have the option of placing the restoration inside the block. To do this, move the cursor to the blue circle in the center and move the restoration using the arrows. As soon as the restoration is placed outside the block, the corresponding area is marked in red. From an economical point of view, the grinding process only makes sense if you have other restorations that you can stack right next to the bridge. Grinding only the bridge would mean that the whole section of the block up to the location of the sprue, and thus a significant part of the block indicated here by the orange arrows, would be ground away and not be available for further restorations. 
Therefore, at this point, we switch back to the Collect phase and select the Milling production type instead. Milling the restoration has several advantages, such as the smoother surface mentioned before, better defined margins, smaller sprue locations, and the ability to nest restorations. In contrast to stacking, nesting requires that several sprue locations be placed, which in turn creates stable anchoring in the block during the milling procedure. After switching the block, the CAM software reminds us that if we switch, we will lose the arrangement of the restorations we placed before, and we confirm with Yes. Afterwards, we again proceed to the next phase. The Job Parameters step allows you to adjust different parameters. We keep the factory settings and switch back to the Restoration Positioning step. However, before we reposition our restoration inside the block, we first view the sprue locations. To do this, we switch to the next step, Sprue Positioning. The software defines the number and location of sprues based on stability criteria. However, at this point, two of the sprue locations are placed on a proximal contact. Since the rest of the sprues need to be removed after the production process, there is a risk that the contact surfaces will be manipulated too much, thus losing their contact points. To avoid this, we go back to the previous step and position our bridge in such a way that it is fully encased by material. Then we click again on the next step and activate the Delete tool. We move the cursor to one of the sprue locations and we can then remove it with one click. We will proceed likewise with the other sprue locations. Now we move on to the Add tool and place new sprues. These are also placed with a single click. Now that all sprue locations are optimally placed, we switch to the production phase by clicking on the double arrow. In this phase, you can determine the level of detail and the processing mode depending on the material you selected. The option Sprue Tapering is selected by default and can be deselected by clicking that button. To start the production process, click the last step, Start Production, then follow the instructions on the screen. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with CEREC.